Smith from the High Definition Studios of WATN. You're watching John Paul, Caitlin Lockerbie, and meteorologist Chelsea Chandler. Coming up on 611, we are tracking the tropics now. Hurricane Chris now category two storm with winds topping 105 miles per hour. It formed into a hurricane late Tuesday afternoon off the east coast. The National Hurricane Center says Chris marks the earliest formation of a seasoned second hurricane since 2005. Chris is located 240 miles east southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Right now, no coastal watches or warnings are in effect. The Hurricane Center says ocean swells from the storm could cause life threatening surf and rip current conditions all along the East Coast. And just to kind of put in perspective how rare this is, of course, we just mentioned it was 2005 mm -hmm. the last time. Uh, it's only the second time since 1966. Uh, so this wow. is a very rare occurrence that we see them this early. So something to definitely keep an mm -hmm. eye on as we get into the rest of hurricane season. Now, as far as us, though, what we have to keep an eye on is the heat. We are talking mm -hmm. about heat advisory today. As you can see, for all of northeastern Arkansas and Tennessee and Mississippi counties along the river. So from Dyer County to Shelby County and DeSoto down to Coahoma, you'll see this from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. where it'll feel near 105 and above this morning so or this afternoon and uh, when we get into the real heat of the day so definitely want to make sure you're staying hydrated finding that ac you're going to need it today uh, these heat advisories i think are going to be a day-to-day -day decision and so it is going to be uh, very hot but not right now at least it feels pretty comfortable as you get out nice and early it is uh, still though only 6 12 so 77 degrees in memphis we're seeing those temperatures from 72 up to 77 but we'll be in the 90s well before lunchtime and then feeling like triple digits before that as well. So as we get into the afternoon, get to the mid 90s, feel like the uh, 105 range for those feel like temperatures. So expect it to be nice and toasty out there. As far as the rest of the week, well, we're not getting really any kind of relief right now. Tomorrow uh, we are technically forecast below criteria, but that is very likely to change. So that's why I say it'll be day to day that we see these advisories uh, decisions made and issued. So as we get into the weekend, though, I would go ahead and expect to see a heat advisory at least Friday through Sunday. So that's what we're keeping an eye on right now, and we'll continue to update. Now, as far as Hurricane Chris, again, not a whole lot of activity here. All that activity and all that moisture right now being drawn into uh, that very defined eye. So, again, Category 2 right now, not causing any problems. We are seeing some rain as a result in the Northeast. Uh, but really, the biggest uh, concern or the only concern where we're seeing is if you were to head out there right now and you were planning to get into the... Uh, the ocean and take a swim or a surf. Uh, either way, you should be fine. We're not seeing any problems as far as impact with landfall, thanks to high pressure continuing to push it out east. And that high pressure, though, also making it really hot here for us. So that's why we're going to see these continued temperatures uh, soaring. So this is actually going to push it uh, more towards Newfoundland because there is some other high pressure on the eastern side that isn't allowing it just to head completely out to sea. So uh, making its way up to Canada now. Uh, but for the rest of us, again, not a big impact. Impact. As far as rain here, though, we will see your standard pop up showers. 20% chance for showers and thunder showers as we get through the rest of the afternoon, especially from 1 p.m. on. Once we get into the evening hours and the sun sets, again, that's when we start to lose that heat. We start to lose those rain chances. It's just the same pattern every day. So this morning, I want you to grab your sunglasses. You'll need them at least early on. And then you'll uh, want to grab an umbrella just in case you were to encounter it. Again, they're very short lived. Uh, they don't, you'll see, you move, they move through. Uh, they don't cause too much trouble. Uh, also not causing trouble is that cold front that I was mentioning today. It's actually going to skirt our area, so really not bringing us any kind of relief, unfortunately. You'll see these temperatures steadily climbing. Uh, we will see them up to the mid-90s by Friday, nice and hot each day, almost on repeat. You're going to see sunshine. You're going to see a few fair weather clouds, pop-up showers in the afternoons, and potentially dangerous heat with that humidity. As we get into the end of the weekend, though, rain chances ramp up 40 to 50%. And that uh, will be what we continue to keep an eye on for you. We'll have the latest on your forecast, but of course, always like to see your pictures as well. You can email them to our weather window.